Hi, I'm Allie Jackson Jolly. I am here with Maureen O'Brien. She is the Senior Vice President of Corporate Governance with Siegel Marco Advisors. Maureen, welcome. Hi, Allie. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to have you here. Um, I recently saw there was a survey done um, by your firm that talked about trends with respect to investment in DEI and sustainability. And it went something like this. In 2021 to 2022, following the year we had in which George Floyd was murdered and the COVID pandemic, which took its toll on historically marginalized populations, investment firms started upping their investment in DEI. So in 2021 and 2022, those investments increased. But last year, a lot of those gains were lost. At the same time, investment in sustainability um, has continued to increase. Can you tell me about that study and what you think it's important for us to know? Yeah, thanks for asking. So we do this study every year and we don't look at what companies are saying about DEI, but rather we ask for the actual data on the demographics. And so we take all of that data and we look at what the summary results are. And what we showed for 2023 is that as a population of the workforce, women had fewer roles and fewer roles in the C-suite. And we saw the same trend, particularly with black employees. There was a 50% drop in the representation of black employees in the C-suite in particular, and then a 4% drop in the workforce overall. Um, so it looked like a lot of the gains that we saw, to your point, in the aftermath of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement, a lot of those gains that we saw seemed to just disappear this past year. And I noticed that you said that you made a point to not just look at what corporations are saying, but to dig into their files and see what they're doing. Was there a gap in between what people were saying they were doing? So like, is it that is it the case that in your research, you found corporations are still believing they're investing in DEI or saying they are, but the this, this study says differently? Or would you say that the study sort of backs up what corporations are saying they're doing? I think without um, without programs that only hire and promote women and people of color, you tend to see these um, long-term trends where white males in particular have a larger share of the workforce and of the C-suite. You send, tend to see that pattern repeat itself. Uh, so we saw, you know, several years ago during the height of the Black Lives Matters movement, we saw a lot of announcements, a lot of programs to hire, to promote, pledges for dollar amounts going into DEI or target setting, uh, achievement towards target setting. And a lot of that public discussion has quieted recently. Um, so what we're taking from the survey is not that these um, survey respondents are backing away from their pledges, but it may be giving it that same priority and that same focus that they did when they initially set those goals. Um, and if for those firms that were setting their goals, um, we're not sure if they're still meeting those goals or if those are falling by the wayside. And so was there a loss in gains or was were the gains erased so is this past year in 2023 we've gone all the way back to how we were looking in 2020 or are there still some improvement there was just a little bit of a backslide it was it was definitely a backslide um so we did see overall improvement in 2020, 2021, and 2022, and then a backslide in 2023, which brought those numbers close to the 2020 levels. Um, so it's sort of two steps forward, one step back. And then at the same study, as I mentioned, said at the same time, investment in sustainability seemed to continue to increase. 
I wonder, I know that there are, the UN talks about sustainability in terms, in terms of economic sustainability. Um, in addition, this past year, there were certain things happening in the court system that may have encouraged corporations not to as overtly label things DEI, um, you know, including, you know, some Supreme Court cases. Um, do you think that that some of this may just be rebranding. So efforts to invest in DEI are being rebranded. Sustainability, or are you saying that you could see, regardless of what people are calling their initiatives, there's fewer women, fewer people of color, less money going into pipelining programs and those sort of things? Mm -hmm. Well, our survey was asking specific questions, um, so not so much on what how companies are positioning, but actually what they're doing. And from those survey results, we saw that there is increased focus in sustainability. And in the context that we're talking about it, we specifically mean tracking emissions. So are companies tracking their greenhouse gas emissions internally for their own operations? And are they tracking emissions for their clients? Because these are investment managers. So for those investors that want to be tracking those emissions, are those managers providing that data so those clients can track their emissions? And on both of those questions, we saw a pretty big increase. We also saw a large increase in companies that are making commitments to go net zero, which means that in the long term, 2050, in some cases 2030, firms are making a commitment that they're going to reduce their emissions as much as possible. And that gap between their lowest available emissions and zero, they will pay offsets to bring that number to zero. Um, so we're because we're seeing more companies make those commitments and begin to track their emissions and the emissions of their clients, we know that there is more focus on sustainability, there's more interest, there's more dollars behind it. Uh, to your question about whether companies are walking away from DEI initiatives, we haven't seen any company do that explicitly or publicly. It's hard to know what goes on behind the scenes. Certainly what we have seen is companies are renaming some of their work. So what used to be the ESG report up on the website is now the sustainability report. Sustainability seems to be a term that has more uh, wide acceptance and it's less politicized, where terms like ESG and DEI have become very politicized. And so there may be a reticence to use those words specifically. So is there anything so to, be anything to be done when you done? think about this backslide and the fact that companies are not investing in women and people of color, they are not career pathing them to the C-suite. In your, in your view, is there anything to be done to get, you know, companies interested in that again, to get to get the engine moving, so that um, as in 2021 and 2022, uh, women and people of color were, were being supported, hired and um, thought about in the corporate world. Yeah, I, listen, I think these companies have a lot of competing priorities. Um, they are trying to do what they do every day. And DEI is a priority, but it can get lost if it's not constantly focused on. So I think that outside pressure from public, from the media, from clients to say we're not OK with these numbers and we need to change these historical trends, I think that really elevated DEI as a priority. So that kind of um, that kind of focus really needs to come back. And I think companies having clear goals about what success looks like and tracking those goals on an annual basis is key to making change. The other piece that's important to keep in mind is that all companies, all organizations have different conditions, different workforces, and so their progress is going to be different. Every journey is a bit unique, but being public about that journey is really important. 
So rather than setting a five-year goal and then reporting out at the end of the five years, if you are continually reporting annually what's happening and you're providing some of the context of what the challenges are, uh, if you had to make a change in the targets, why you had to make that change, having that public discussion, I think helps everybody address DEI in a realistic way and helps change those historical um, trends, which, you know, companies are also at risk of litigation if they don't take um, DEI seriously. And so this is, you know, the academic research shows that you have better performance with more diversity and um, your your workforce tends to uh, be more productive in a, in a diverse setting. And so for those reasons alone, it's really important to to make sure companies get that right. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought yeah, that I'm up so because I was going to mention that part of the conversation in 2021 was that there were a lot of um, investment firms, a lot of consulting firms that made the argument that DEI wasn't just social good, it was business good. And there was uh, there were many reports that said exactly what you're saying, which is that companies who have more diversity in at every level um, perform better. So the fact that there is this dis disinvestment, if we want to call it that, in DEI, does that suggest that corporations never believe that? Or like what? Like so, that's what's interesting to me is that there was, you know, sort of this change the narrative. Let's let's make it about a business um, need um, and so it seems counterintuitive that if corporations believe it's a business need they would need the public or the media to encourage them to do it right companies usually do what's good for the bottom line so where is that disconnect do you think i think it's you know they're under a lot of pressure to make decisions and to hire based on who's in front of them. So for example, uh, for a long time, it was a barrier to getting women on boards was that most companies, and I'm speaking now about publicly traded companies, they had a requirement that any sitting director has to have CEO experience. And because there are so few women it, that have CEO positions, that was just, a, a non-starter for um, actually changing how boards look. A lot of companies took that criteria away. And so that opened up a lot of opportunities for women who had lots of executive experience, but maybe just not chief executive experience. So the DEI work is not, it doesn't happen by itself, right? You have to continually look at the numbers. If you have programs in place and they're not working, that might mean you have to go retweak it. Uh, it often means you need to hire personnel that's explicitly focused on it. And so it requires work. And I think the lack of focus on DEI is often a result of the people in charge balancing the short term versus long term needs. We know over the long term that a more diverse workforce is going to get that performance. But if you're just rushing for the next six months to staff up, you may sort of let that longer term goal um, be less of a priority. And so I think it's that's why it's important to continue this public discussion about what's happening and to keep companies focused on their internal targets so that you're not in a situation where if you don't look at it for five years and you wake up one day and look at your numbers, you know, you have a lot of work to do to try to to try to correct an imbalance. Yeah. And then what about yeah. that um, statistic you told us about sustainability, um, having a little more sticking powder power right now. Do you think that uh, the same thing may happen with corporate investment and declarations about sustainability? Or do you think there is more long term sticking power, these corporations that have said they're going to do well by sustainability and the environment are con going to continue that? Yeah, 
it looks that way. There is a lot of movement on the country in the country generally on decarbonization. So you see a lot of companies making efforts to try to reduce their emissions over time. You also see a lot of regulations coming down the pipe. Uh, so the Securities and Exchange Commission, for example, has a pending rule uh, that would require companies to make lots of disclosures about climate. So their emissions, their risks to their physical assets from storms, severe storms, severe weather events, um, their own progress towards decarbonizing. The EU has a sustainability, a corporate sustainability reporting initiative coming online. Um, so any companies operating in Europe are going to have to start reporting on sustainability measures. California has another um, directive happening. And so you, you are seeing a lot of um, a lot of indicators that we are going to continue down this path of decarbonization. And so it makes sense for companies to start looking at that. Companies that can get ahead of it and can start working on their own before they're required to do it by, um, by regulators will be ahead of the curve compared to their peers. Um, so I don't think that is a trend that's going to go away. I think we're going to see more, more advancements on sustainability in particular. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, so final question, because we're almost out of time. In this report around DEI and sustainability, where, again, DEI investment seems to be decreasing, sustainability investment um, seems to be going up. Do you see any, is there any good news? Is there any um silver lining or trend that you could tell those who are interested in the diversity piece for corporations? Can, is, is there anything that we can kind of glom onto and be hopeful about the future? I think the good news is that we saw dramatic change in a very short period of time. When the Black Lives Matters movement happened and companies began making these announcements, they were very quick to hire and promote. So we know that it's possible. So we'll see, you know, in years to come what the priorities are and if companies again try to correct these numbers. And hopefully next year when we do this survey, the numbers will look a little different. But we know the playbook. We know you got to set goals. We know you have to track progress. We know you have to publicly report. And it shows that if you do that, you can see those numbers improve. Yeah. Well, Maureen, we're out of time. I liked what you said, though. Let's keep this conversation going. Let's keep it active. And hopefully we can have a conversation like this again in the near future. Great. Thanks so much for having me.